Man, the word that comes to mind to me is powerful. Powerful man. I can honestly say I've never been in the place where I've This is my trial. Woo! I said, man, I want you to take that power and empower somebody else. Tell them what it took for you to ignore that person. Woo! They don't know what you've been through. Awesome, awesome day today. This was really awesome. A robust uh, group of individuals, man, that just was able to bring their gifts and talents. And we spoke on things that were so relevant to young people and also relevant to us, man. It was just amazing. Every workshop was full of power and passion, man, and purpose. And you know, if you don't meet, that's one of the things I'm talking about, man. If it's kind of significant, all passion versus man, that was drives us towards success. And I believe God actually wanted everybody here that was supposed to be here today. He had leaders who poured into me. One thing I learned when I've been doing this, man, I got to find one person, man, in that classroom that everybody's looking at, good or bad, and that's who I got to build the relationship Because once I start to steer that shit, everybody starts to fall in line. They ain't commit suicide. <laughs> we contributed to their death. We all dead? I said, no, you're not. But you do have the blessing now because you're still here to investigate the things that are killing you. Man, it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful conference, Save Our Sons. Uh, but as we learned, we also said kind of changes to save our sisters, save our society. If I did this with kids, somebody would be like, oh my gosh, you're not saying it right, right? Or cutting them off, or let me see a paper. They're not listening. And then a person talking will get frustrated because they're not getting it. But then it's always about how you say it, the tone, what you say, your word choices. Are you able to give examples, situations, right? And then are you taking that information in? How well are you receiving it? Stop surviving, start living. So so many of our young people are surviving in survival mode. We move them past survival mode and put them into a mode of living and flourishing. It was a great day, man. So I encourage you, man, look at this video, hit me up, 267-237-5109. Our website is www.familiescommunity.org, www.familiescommunity.org. I'm Chris Pinter, Senior President, CEO of FamCom. Check us out. Continue to read, make sure you have a mentor, and find the things that you love to do. And I promise you, as God is my witness, the opportunities will come. Stay humble, stay hungry. I appreciate you.